welcome to Double Reel. Starting our countdown at number 20 is the lunch hall fight. When Miguel, who has past issues with Kyler, steps up to defend Samantha while Kyler and she are arguing about Kyler spreading rumors about her. It's not lame ass karate. <laughs> Cobra Kai. With new karate skills since their last encounter, Miguel handles a one-on-four fight masterfully. He dishes out a series of punches and kicks, turning the cafeteria into a battlefield. <laughs> Using a lunch tray, he humorously and impressively defeats the bullies. Standing triumphantly on a table, Miguel gains Sam's attention. At number 19 is Miguel vs. Hawk. Miguel and Eli undergo dramatic transformations throughout the first two seasons. Although Eli reinvents himself as Hawk, he becomes equally as bad as those who mistreated him before. Miguel realizes while training in Coyote Creek that Hawk has crossed a line by wrecking Miyagi-Do and stealing Miyagi's Medal of Honor. In the end, Miguel emerges victorious, but he does not hesitate to end Hawk, demonstrating that neither student holds the moral high ground. Although Miguel appears to have secured the black team's victory, the awesome Stingray takes the final win, which results in one of the show's funniest moments. You know the thing about Stingrays is, they lie in wait for the perfect opportunity to strike! At number 18 is Kreese's prison fight. When an inmate provokes Kreese, the experienced master shows everyone why pissing him off is a huge mistake. Before the fight starts, old Kreese is substituted with young Kreese played by Barrett Carnahan, who portrays him in the flashbacks. Once Kreese starts, he goes all beast mode and launching a precise and relentless assault. This scene perfectly showcases Kreese's combat skills and how young and powerful he feels. At number 17 is the Christmas party fight. Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang have a massive fight at the LaRusso's house when they turn up uninvited to a Christmas party. The cinematography, choreography, and set design come together perfectly during the chaotic fight scene. We see several fights unfold, Sam and Tori clash and end up in the dojo, but the best part is when Hawk has an epiphany and realizes the person he has become. He redeems himself with a kick and flip, rescuing Dimitri and they team up together in an awesome moment. At number 16 is Kreese's new recruits. Hawk has transformed so much that it's difficult to remember him as Eli. Those memories resurface when Kreese introduces several new recruits, including Hawk's former bully, Kyler. Kyler easily defeats Mitch and takes his place. Tori secures her spot on the team as well, leaving her opponent with a chipped tooth and one of her trademark insults. But the main fight is a match between Hawk and Brooks, who used to bully Hawk with Kyler. If Hawk's hair and tattoos weren't enough to show his transformation, his performance on the mat makes it clear. He is no longer Eli, he is Hawk, and his opponent feels the wrath of the Hawk. At number 15 is the parking lot fight. Johnny Lawrence is out of employment and eating at a mini mart 34 years after losing to Daniel. While eating in the parking lot, Johnny notices a group of bullies harassing Miguel. It resembles the scene in The First Karate Kid where Johnny and his friends beat up Daniel only for Mr. Miyagi to intervene. In this situation, Johnny takes up Miyagi's position. Of course, this is about defending his car rather than Miguel himself. It's four against one and Johnny is in his 50s but he still has plenty of kicks to go around. While the cops break it up, the event demonstrates that Johnny has not lost his fighting spirit. At number 14 is the bar fight. In the same way that Cobra Kai redeems Johnny, it also discovers Bobby, Jimmy, and Tommy's humanity. Tommy is well known for being the person who screams at Johnny to put Daniel in a body bag in the first Karate Kid movie. Tommy is treated to a final night out by his friends due to his terminal disease. But a fight breaks out at a bar, and the guys use their surroundings to the fullest. At number 16 
number 13 is Johnny and Robbie Take Down Scammers. While in Mexico searching for Miguel, both Johnny and Robbie end up fighting a bunch of scammers who previously scammed Miguel. It's an immensely satisfying fight scene, seeing the father and son duo fight side by side. At number 12 is Miguel and Robbie's rematch. Miguel and Robbie's second fight is a culmination of two seasons of rivalry after Miguel got seriously injured. This fight again has no referee, no rules, just two seasons of bad blood that explodes into this great fight scene. The fight choreography is good, highlighting their anger and determination. Miguel uses the same moves Robbie used that ultimately led to his horrific fall, but he chooses to stop the fight before anyone gets seriously hurt. Why'd you hold back? I didn't get into karate to hurt people. At number 11 is Johnny vs. Kreese. At the start of Season 2, we get our first fight between Johnny and Kreese after being teased about it at the end of Season 1. <laughs> While Kreese initially has the upper hand, Johnny manages to turn the tables around and get the best of him. Johnny has the opportunity to end Kreese, but shows Mercy ultimately opening the door for him to crawl back into Cobra Kai. <laughs> At number 10 is Daniel vs. Johnny. We were all waiting for a fight between Daniel and Johnny after their climactic match in the first Karate Kid, and Cobra Kai did a great job at playing with this expectation in Season 1. During Season 2, Daniel shows up at Johnny's apartment looking for his daughter. Since Samantha and Robbie were inebriated, Johnny did the responsible thing by letting them stay the night, but Daniel is quick to jump to conclusions though, kicking the door open. Sam? The brawl that ensues is a personal and heated one that mirrors their All-Valley Karate Championship fight, although the two are once again interrupted before they can finish it. At number 9 is Johnny and Chosen team up in a Cobra Kai Dojo. When Chosen and Johnny arrive at a Cobra Kai Dojo aiming to confront Silver, they instead encounter a new sensei and an intense fight. In this fast-paced and expertly choreographed battle, the new master quickly takes Johnny down, and even Chosen has to stay on his toes. When the two heroes finally decide to team up against their adversary, the fight becomes even more exciting. It's really good to see Chosen and Johnny work so well together against a common enemy, but their electrifying teamwork also highlighted that Cobra Kai's new senseis were formidable opponents. No. At number 8 is Daniel vs. Silver – First Fight The first showdown between Daniel and Silver is a culmination of Silver getting under Daniel's skin, leading him into this fight. While Daniel tries to use the moves he learned from Johnny, they don't work on Silver, and neither do Daniel's defensive moves, culminating in a beatdown by Silver. You never really had the strength, did you? Even though it was tough to see Silver beat Daniel to a pulp, the high stakes and unexpected twists of their showdown kept us glued to the screen until the Miyagi-Do Sensei went down. The devastating conclusion left us eagerly anticipating the day Daniel gets his revenge on Silver in a rematch. I was ready to let this go. At number 7 is Johnny and Daniel vs. Kreese. In the climactic ending of Season 3, Johnny and Daniel join forces to take on Kreese in an epic showdown. choreography is good, and the hits are powerful as Johnny takes on Kreese only for Daniel to show up at the right time. The scene is a perfect blend of action and drama, with both rivals' motivations and emotions driving the intensity of the fight. At number 6 is Chosen Fight's Six Senseis. Chosen goes undercover at Cobra Kai by applying to be one of their new senseis at the beginning of Season 5. But after Silver finds out about the deception, he orders six wannabe Cobra Kai senseis to take him on. Yeah. 
chosen totally destroys each master who tries to challenge him. It was almost unfair how the fight ends up for the senseis, as chosen unleashes a hurricane of Miyagi-Do moves. This lopsided fight proved that chosen has only improved with age. At number 5 is Johnny Goes Beast Mode. In a moment where it looks like it could all be over for Johnny, when he's up against 5 Cobra Kai senseis, but he taps into a new level of determination and strength when he is reminded of his new coming child. That moment turns everything into Johnny's favor when he destroys 3 of the senseis, and Mike Barnes makes a triumphant comeback to save the day. It's a brilliant fight scene with good choreography, and seeing Johnny and Mike fight side by side is a treat. I did most of this. At number four is Chosen vs. Silver. We all knew this would be a great match when these two finally collided and it didn't fail to deliver. The fight between the two is one of the most intense showdowns of the series. The choreography is brilliant, showcasing some great weapon fighting with both Chosen and Silver giving it their all. <laughs> Their final battle is enhanced by a great score and stunning cinematography. Despite the underwhelming conclusion, their fierce confrontation deserves recognition for providing us with an impressive fight scene. At number 3 is the Chop Shop Fight. While we always love to see Daniel and Johnny go head to head, we do prefer it when they team up. In this scene, we get to see both dynamics. The duo is on the hunt for Robbie and ends up in a chop shop filled with stolen cars and shady characters. As expected, Daniel tries to resolve the situation peacefully while Johnny relies on his fists. Although the thugs have chains and pipes, they can't compete with two karate experts looking out for each other. This moment showcases how well Daniel and Johnny can work together. However, their alliance is short-lived when Johnny's temper gets the best of him, clashing with Daniel's more forgiving nature, ultimately leading to another fallout. At number two is Daniel's final fight with Silver. In the season 5 finale, Daniel LaRusso faces off against Terry Silver, the man who tormented him in Karate Kid 3. This fight is the ultimate clash of good versus evil, where Daniel's years of training under Mr. Miyagi combine with his learning from Johnny and what he learned from Silver to culminate into a very satisfying fight scene. Rule number one, a man can't stand, he can't fight. What makes this fight so memorable is its strong resemblance to Karate Kid 3. In that movie, Mr. Miyagi beats Silver and sends him crashing into a mirror so he can protect Daniel. Daniel uses a single crane kick to send the opponent crashing into a mirror, giving a huge nod to what the seasoned mentor did years ago. All these iconic elements combined in the final fight, capturing everything fans adore about the franchise. At number one is Daniel vs. Johnny, the rematch. Cobra Kai delighted us with a tournament style showdown between Daniel and Johnny in the middle of season four. The victorious sensei would have the privilege of teaching their unique karate style and philosophies to all their eager students. The choreography is excellent and both Johnny and Daniel look great great on camera, giving us an epic showdown that we were all very happy to see. And there you have it, our top 20 Cobra Kai fight scenes. Which fight scene is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content.